Hi guys, this is Ivy from Wamplay, and today we're going to talk about how to complete an identity check from inside your application dashboard. Now, a few of us have been sent an email that asks for you to be able to go into your application and complete an identity check. Let's go over that together. First things first, you're going to want to log into your application at wamplay.com forward slash ppp. Once you go ahead and sign in, it'll take you to a page that looks like mine where it asks for your PPP application. Simply locate the date of the application in question, and you're going to click See Details. After you see your details, it's going to tell you your status detail, the started date of your application, your name, the tax ID if that's applicable, and as always, everything I show you guys is 100% falsified for the sake of these videos. And you're going to scroll down. There's a whole bunch of check marks next to all of your information. And then you see two buttons at the very bottom that say Update Application or Review Application. Together, we're going to click Update Application. Once you go ahead and click Update Application, it's going to drop you into a dashboard that looks just like mine, where you can update your basic or tax information, update your bank details, provide tax documents, review your application, find your first draw loan, or Identity Check. We're going to go ahead and click Identity Check. It takes a couple of seconds for it to be able to load, and it says we need some information to help us confirm your identity. Go ahead and begin verifying. Then it'll ask what country is your government ID from. Double check your country, mine's the United States, and click select. After that, it's going to have you verify some basic information, such as your name, your address, and your birth date, and the last four digits of your social. Now, if for any reason you need to update your address so it's going to match the piece of identification you're going to use to complete this identity check, or if your birthday is incorrect, you can edit both of these sets of information directly from inside this screen where it says address, and where it says birth date. All of the other pieces of information, such as your name, the city, the state, the zip code, and the last four digits of your social, as always, any and all information I show you guys in this application is 100% falsified for the sake of this application. If any of these are not correct, that are in these grayed out boxes, please go ahead and click back and go back to the update your information screen and click on update basic information. Please make sure that all of this information is correct to the best of your ability and matches the ID that you're going to upload into the system and then press continue. Please make sure that before pressing continue that all of the information that is on this particular screen matches your ID exactly. Your birth date must match, your address must match, your first and last name must match, otherwise you will run into issues. If you do not have an ID that matches your application, please make sure that you're continuing with an ID that matches your application. Now, it's going to have us take a selfie video where it's going to say, let's make sure you're you. Position yourself in the center of the camera and move your face left to right to show both sides. Please move slowly. From here, you have two options. You can click Get Started or Continue on Another Device. I'm going to go ahead and click on Continue Another Device. After that, it's going to give you three options. You can either send via text, email, or by code. Enter in your phone number, make sure that's correct. And then you're going to check your phone. It's going to send you a quick text message with a link to click on. First things first is a text message is going to come onto your phone that looks just like mine, where it says, this is your one-time link for Wobbly. Continue verifying at this particular site. Go ahead and click on that particular link. Once you click on the link, it'll take you to directly to a page that looks just like this, where it says, let's make sure you're you. Get started. It'll ask you to access your camera, and then it'll say, center yourself. Center yourself in the position of the screen then look slightly left with your whole head, then look slightly right with your whole head. It takes a couple of seconds for it to be able to verify. It takes a couple of seconds and it says, congratulations, you're done. Return to your previous device to finish. Then it says, upload a photo ID. Choose one of the following options. You can choose a driver's license, a state ID, a passport, a passport card, a permanent residence card, or a work permit. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and click where it says driver's license. After that, it says front of driver's license. Take a clear photo of the front of your government ID. All I'm going to go ahead and do is you can either click here and you can take your picture, or you can click upload a photo. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple seconds, click upload a photo, go to my documents, find my driver's license, and press open. Check your photo, make sure it's good and clear, and then say use this photo and you're good to go. If you do need to retake the photo, go ahead and click retake photo. 
takes just a couple of seconds for that to be able to upload into the system. After that, it says processing ID. Please wait as we process your uploads. This may take a couple of seconds. Please be patient and do not navigate away from the page. Then it's going to say, congratulations, you're done. Thank you for verifying your identity. Then you'll go ahead and click done. And I'll take you back to the update application screen, just like we were on the previous page. Now, as always, if you run into any additional questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us directly. Thank you so much.